bad times at the El Royale. The movie starts with guests signing at a hotel which was just in the outskirts of California and Nevada. The father stood in the parking lot staring as if he was lost. A young black woman asked him if he was okay and he responded that he was. When they get in the hotel, they find a guy who came earlier. He introduces himself as Sullivan and gives them a business card which stated that he sold appliances. He tells them that he had been ringing the bell for hours with no response. Sullivan tells them that the hotel wasn't always like that and in 1960 the hotel was one of a kind and a singer made the song about it but the place lost in gaming license which made people take their business elsewhere. He tells them that his stay was on Callum Appliances which he worked for, and intended to lavish himself with other honeymoon suite even though he was on no honeymoon as he gave them coffee. The lady knocks on the door loudly and a hotel attendant comes out. He gets surprised when he sees a father and tells him that the place was for no father. The father closely reads his name which was Miles and tells him that it was exactly where the Lord wanted him. Sullivan persists on taking the honeymoon suite and isn't bothered when the others are being signed in before him. Miles tells them about the hotel which stood in the middle of California and Nevada. They ask what are the difference between the rooms that were in California and Nevada and he tells them that the rooms in California did cost a dollar more than Nevada. Sullivan asks to manage the hospitality in the hotel and Miles tells him that he still does. Sullivan is a bit surprised as he also intended to sell them one of the vacuum cleaners that he had in those huge boxes he carried around. The father asked for the map of the hotel. Miles tell them that he was not allowed to sell liquor in Nevada and that they wanted to use the amenities they could cross over. Father Flynn is undecided whether to take room number 4 or 5 and flips a coin and he takes room number 4, he signs the ledger and takes the keys. The lady is given room 5 and she requests for a room which was further away from the others. She later agrees to take the room and also signs the ledger. The father pays for her coffee as a sign of generosity. A woman who just arrived asks for a room and she decides to take room 1 which was the honeymoon suite. Sullivan tells her that she can't have that room as he already took it. She chooses a room in Nevada even though it was unmaintained. He signs the ledger and leaves as Sullivan signs to take room 1. Sullivan gets in with his belongings locks the door and slowly unpacks. He removes the vacuum cleaner taking out a briefcase full of small tools. He makes a phone call to his wife and while on the call he opens up the phone to find it was tapped and someone was listening the conversation. He keeps it short and start investigating the room. He finds lots of hidden microphones installed in almost all electrical appliances. Sullivan then looks into the mirror and decides to measure if the inside length of the house was the same as the outside. He then goes to the reception where the TV was showing the news and he takes the keys. He finds Miles high on heroin and he tries using the keys to open a mystical door. The keys don't work, he then picks the door and gets in the dark hallway. He finds out that every room was being watched through the mirror. He sees the father tearing down the floor as if in search of something. He then moves on to a lady who was a singer and was practicing for the show had the following day. He moves on to another mirror where someone seem OND to be kidnapped. He takes the tape and the camera and reports to his superior who sent him to investigate. He tells him of the hidden mirrors used for surveillance. He even tells him about the kidnapped girl. His superior tells him to focus on the mission and no one was to leave before he got all the surveillance materials as Darlene the singer was in flashbacks of her music career and how her boss wanted to take advantage of her. She hears the knock on the door. Father Flynn offers to buy her something to eat as part of payment as she was a splendid singer. At the reception they didn't find Miller and they decided to take care of themselves by putting on the music and they gambled and got food. The father tells her that they had a beautiful church choir and she tells him that she started as a church choir singer. She tried to sing one of the most famous church songs but the father could not grasp any. Father decides to take a drink but Darlene refused to as she lit a cigarette. Father Fleen engages her in a conversation where he discloses that his mind wasn't as good as it used to be and he sometimes who he was and even at times lost track of time as he did earlier and it was not all to blame his age. Darlene sympathizes with him and Father Fleen decides to go for another drink this time she lures her in and she accepts to drink. When the father serving the drinks, he puts something in her drink and she smacks the father to his surprise. Back in room 7 we meet Rose who was kidnapped by her sister and promised to get out and get away from a man who is all kind of bad. Sullivan knocks on the door and lies that be he was sent by Miles to confirm if the ladies were okay and make sure they are safe. She tells him to fuck off and Sullivan apologizes. As she peeped through the door Sullivan banged it open. She remembered how her father used to treat them when they were kids and she protected Rossi at all cost. She shoots the mirrors and injures Miles who was with Father Fleen after waking up from a bad smack on the head. 
He didn't remember a thing at that time and concludes that he fell down as he was an old man. He tried to tell Millers to get off the mirror when Sullivan was about to get shot but he wants quick enough. Father Fleen runs just before they saw him. Darlin saw the whole thing as she tried to run away from the hotel after smacking the father with the wine bottle but witnesses as Sullivan destroys the cars not to start after getting clear instructions from his boss and also how Sullivan was shot, she peeps as Rosie made a phone call and gave out their location, after Rossi followed her sister, Darlene searches Sullivan's body to retrieve the plug of her car but the car couldn't start. Father Fleen gets in the car and she uses the gun she took from Sullivan to protect herself, the father comes clear that she wanted to drug her to break into her room as she had money they stole from a truck transporting cash from the bank, the father took responsibility of destructing the cops but he gets caught and was sent to jail for 15 years. While in prison he forgot who he was and the doctor told him that he had at least 6 months, and Felix's brother was killed at the meetup which was El Royale. The father tells him it was the truth and after some minutes of convincing they decide to help each other and split the money 50-50. Emily was torturing Miller as he saw her commit murder, he tried to beg her saying that he was not going to tell no one as he had seen very bad things in the past and never told anyone. Meanwhile in room number 5 the two decide to collaborate and get the money, she sings to destruct, as Emily went around looking for Father Fleen she gets destructed by Darlene as she sings in front of the mirror aware that there was someone on the other side listening, they work in perfect sync that Emily didn't notice that there was some sort of demolition in the room in search of money. She walks away, she confronts Miles asking where the priest was and he tells her that he also wanted to talk to the priest before she killed him, Rose speaks up that it was not up to them to kill or not to kill Miles we meet Billy who catches the priest and Darlene as they were on their way to escape with the money. He holds them all hostage except Rose, they tie Miles mouth as he blabbed of how much he sinned and he was seeking redemption. Billy was offended as they left without a goodbye. She asks about the money and Darlene lies that she earned it through singing and the father vows that she was telling the truth, they put on some music which the father was not familiar with. He tells Emily to pick a color, between red and black and shoots Emily after it landed on black. He forces Darlene to sing as the father asked for whiskey, the father tells him the truth and he said that he dressed as a priest as people did tend to look the other way. Billy asks who is going to look for the money as there was always that one person and the father assures him that they were all dead expect him. He tells him to pick a color and the lights go out, he forces Darlene to sing for them but the father tells her that the man didn't deserve to hear her singing as he was going to don as he pleased anyway, Darlene agrees and sings a very sorrowful song and she gets them to play which gets the father angry and causes chaos, Miles tells himself that he could not do it again as he killed 123 people, we are shown a bit of Miles life, and how he served as a military snipper until he ended up at the hotel. He takes the gun shoot Billy who was beating up the father and all that members in precision forgetting about Rose who was crying over Belly's body. He tried to soothe her telling her sorry but she stubbed him in the stomach and the father kills her. They try to help Billy with no success but he let him confess and forgave his sin even though he was not a real priest. They take the money just before the whole hotel burnt down and left. Thank you for watching kindly like share and subscribe to support this channel.